had no idea what I've been forced to put up with for so long. What you have been forced to put up with? You! I am the victim here! What are you talking about? Deprivation, denial, dominance, degradation. Should I go on? You are talking utter rubbish, utter nonsense! You see, you have been so insulted and abusive ever since you started dating. I'm sure this must be the amplified version of you. What? Have I ever laid my fingers on you or violated you in any way? Emotionally, yes. I didn't tell you. One of my friends has a birthday party today and I'm attending. You're not going anywhere. Why? Because I say so. <laughs> what do you take me for? A fool or something? Look, you're my wife. I am the head of this house. And I say you go nowhere. Raymond, why are you trying to cage me? And why is it that every time I say I want to go out, you start acting scared? When you were dating, you had all the fun. But now you're married. Marriage and dating are two different things. Oh, so now marriage is supposed to be a prison. For those who refuse to be submissive to their husbands, absolutely yes. <laughs> and so my life is supposed to stop because I married you. Point of correction, your life has meaning because you married me. <sighs> Am I your wife or your slave? Hmm? You stopped me from virtually everything that makes me happy. I quit my job in the bank because I wanted to make you happy. You chased all my friends away. And now I abide in a lost world. And you sit down here to tell me how my life has a meaning. What really? tongue, woman? Mind who you're talking to. May I remind you, I am your husband, not your mate. You know, you have always been like this ever since we were dating. All this, your insecurity. I wonder why I thought your insecurities were going to stop if we get married. Barista Ken would like to see us. No, he called me as well. I am happy to end this hopeless union. Same here. The feeling is mutual. Okay. Look, look. I don't know how I was convinced to come here in the first place. We are pregnant that has been a waste of time. How do you mean, my dear? Because the woman in question here does not give a damn. Is that true, madam? 
Well, nothing he says is true anymore. All he does is accuse and persecute. How do you mean? Please make me How the hell should I know? I guess he's just a bossy son of a bitch. Hey, 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 hey! Watch your mouth! I won't control that tone! I beg you! 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 Don't show yourself! Can you really show it? What is wrong with both of you? Please, can we speak like civilized adults? I don't have a problem with him. He's the crybaby here. Madam, let me tell you. This woman you see here has a very, very big problem. Which is you! Please, you see a period in your marriage that you guys are not at each other's throats? A period of peace, love, and understanding, devotion. Oh, yes. Yes. I mean, the start of our marriage was, was very beautiful. I married the woman of my dreams. Oh, so I thought. Please tell me more. What happened? He asked. What's that supposed to mean? Please make me understand. Hello. Well, the salmon here was broody. He eventually hatched. And his true colors came out. Yes, great movie. You see, I said it. A woman should be submissive to her husband. And a man is supposed to love and respect his wife, not raise his hand on her. I wasn't talking to you. I wasn't talking to you too. And do you believe that? Isn't it obvious that he's no longer the romantic, caring husband anymore? But he used to be all that before. Well, yeah. But before, now he's just a boy. And you are a soul. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Are you know. okay? I am fine. Do you need a glass of water? No, I'm fine, honestly. So what exactly is funny? You too? Really? Yes. You see, even the therapy things we clown. But I think I'm a clown. I would never see you like that. Far from it. Then what? But that we are desperately in love. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, right. Worry, you figure out later. <laughs> oh, why is this therapist spoiling this film now? Why are you quitting a man to a woman? A woman is supposed to be the neck, the man is supposed to be the head. If the neck decides to be the head, then the whole body is in pain. Besides, it's a man's world. <sighs> the last time I checked, the world belongs to both the man and the woman, and there is no such phrase as it's the man's world. No wonder, a man is permitted to cheat, but when a woman does same, it's a taboo. Please, can I watch my film? Am I stopping you from watching your film? Wait, wait, what are you again? She's a therapist, you dumb head. A marriage counselor, my dear. Okay, good. And your job is? Analyzing couples who seek to get a divorce. Try to talk them out of it. If it works, awesome. If it doesn't, then help them finalize the papers. Send me to the court. Okay. Now, from everything you just said now, I didn't hear anything about laughing at your clients being a good thing, or is it? I'm really sorry about that. I wasn't actually laughing at you. Oh, really? Yes, really. I was intrigued by the flow of emotion between both of you. Okay, madam, 
sorry to ask this, but do you even have any idea of what it is to be married? Well, yes, because from what I can clearly see, you are not putting on a wedding ring, which means you are single. Yes, I am single. Hey! So, how then do you have any idea of being married? Let alone trying to fix a broken marriage. Hey! God! Total waste of time. Let's go. It's true that I'm presently single, but I've been married three times. What? You're kidding, right? No, I'm not. What? How? What? What, what happened? How? Jeez. Married to three different men. One is a big problem. How much more when it is three? This is getting really, really interesting. See, before I start talking about myself, in marriage, love is necessary. Sometimes love is not enough. People think marriage is so rosy. But believe me, it has its ups and downs. You fight, and you settle. But you keep loving the same man and same woman for the rest of your life. I don't get it. The same man that stood at the altar and professed to love and to protect is the same man that has turned me into a punching bag. That is not love. That is brutality. This woman here always knows how to tell the B part of the story only. Yes, she was beaten. But the real question is, what did she say? What did she do that made me turn her into a punching bag? It's not working out. It's not. I mean, we came all the way to this cozy hotel. It's, it's just not working. It's not. What do you mean by it's not working? I don't get it. I'm trying to put you in the mood so we can both make sweet love as husband and wife should. And you're saying it's not working. I don't get it. Mood. Since we got here, I've been trying to connect. I mean, I, I've just been trying. I want satisfaction. Even if I can't get total of it. Why are you like this? Eh? Why are you like this? That is how you complain every single time. Every single time we make love, you always complain that I don't satisfy you. Every time, I don't satisfy you. Every time, every time, every time. What is it? What is it? Try to kill myself because I want satisfaction. I kill myself. What happened? I'm mean, not trying my best. What is it? Ah! This is the reason why married men and women cheat. Yeah. Okay. So because you want satisfaction now, you want to now go outside and go and cheat? I never said so. Listen to me. I am not the problem here. You are the one that is the big problem here. You think sex is like sports? I should just jump on the pitch and start driving and, and rough from beginning to the end until I score a goal. Eh? You think that's how sex works? It doesn't work like that. Look, sex should be enjoyed between both parties now. That's how it works. You know what? I am done with this conversation. Besides, why do I need darkness when I can get light? <laughs> oh my god. I thought I was the only one in this struggle. Sister, thank you. 
I need to take this line down. <clears throat> what do I need darkness for when I can have light everywhere? <laughs> We are two men in this house. Yeah. We are two men in this house. Eh? Why do you need... Oh, so I am the one that is darkness now. I want to now go outside and go and get lights. <laughs> How can you even satisfy your wife? When the tool to make it happen, it's so tiny like a pen. A man is a man and a boy is a boy. It is called manhood. No boyhood. Husband, you are a boy. Shut up! Are you mad? I, 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 I will teach you. I will teach you a lesson today and you will not forget. You see why I honestly want a divorce? Every time I try to correct him, I get beaten. And I will keep beating you over and over again. Look, before we got married, we tested the waters. So if she claims that I don't have manhood, that is boyhood that I have, then why did she marry me? She never complained. And that's why I will keep beating her. I will stop. You have no right to raise your hand on your woman. She's your wife, you know, not your watching man. It's only with men that raise their hands on their woman. This therapist is obviously feminist. She's taking sides. Let's change the channel. Let's watch something else. We are not going to change this channel. We started watching this film and we are going to end it. I want to watch the film. Give me a record. <laughs> give me, give me, give me. Hey, leave me alone. Ray, stop it. Ray. Give me that record. Give me. Now she's making sense. Do you hear that right? Add that to a punchline. Write that in your notes. Nonsense. Rubbish. After that night, we saw several things. One day he proposed, and I said yes. We got married. The wedding was grand. The ceremony and the marriage, two different things. After the ceremony, your well wishes will not go. But we left in your own lonely world. Like they always say, the caged bird want to be free. And the free one want to come in. The man I thought oh, that was the best thing that happened to me. It turned out to be the worst nightmare I've ever had. Yes. Honestly, I really cannot take it anymore. This is a mess now. How can you be married to a man you hardly see? The last time I saw Greg was one week after our wedding. And he had to cut our honeymoon short because he had to go work. That doesn't make any sense. Sorry, I'll call you back. Why are you calling family and friends that I abandoned you? Why? Before we got married, didn't you know I work with the Secret Service and I can be called upon at any time? I cannot take this anymore. I cannot handle it anymore! Sweetheart, you should be grateful and happy. Yes, some family can't even live the way we do. I mean, we've got all the money in the world to take care of all our needs and more. But besides, I'm here now. Greg, you are here now. But I need you to stay home sometimes. I can't take this. Please, take all the money. Take all the money and stay with me. This, your job is killing me. What is wrong with you? I bet you won't start having kids. The kids are not even going to recognize you. Because you have me at home. Sweetheart, you were taking this too far. Come on. All right, I promise you. During my long vacation, I'll make it up to you, okay? 
It's a promise. Now smile for me. Come on. <laughs> now let's go inside. Oh, oh sorry. Hello? Yes. Oh, okay, I'll be on my way now. All right. Um, sweetie, I'm sorry, duty calls, and I have to go. You just got here? Yes. See, if you need anything, just anything, you can use my card, okay? You cannot just say that. I have to go now. I'll see you. Since I returned, you've been acting strange. What is the matter? Nothing that I know of. <laughs> is it about my job? I've handled it. You don't, we don't have to worry about anything anymore, okay? I promise never to leave you again. Greg, do you know what you've put me through? Do you know what I've gone through for the past months? All the sleepless nights, all because of you. Sweetie, I just told you I've started it with my boss. They know that I'm married. And they are also concerned about the way you feel, okay? I'm sorry about everything. And why is it so difficult for you to pick up your calls when I'm around? Sweetie, it's part of the rules of my engagement, okay? Never to take calls when I'm with somebody. That's including me, your wife. Honey, there are higher matters. Higher matters? Higher than what we share? Gregory, are you keeping anything from me? Is there any secret you're keeping from me? Honey, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. I'm losing my mind. In fact, I've lost it. Please pick up your call. In all you do, always remember that I love you very much and I would never do anything to hurt you. You see, when trust is gone, marriage is over. Women should know that men are logical and women are emotional. I pushed Greg so much with my harsh words. All he said to me was, honey, I love you. And that swept me off my feet. What now happened? My dad. Everything happened. Never check your spouse's phone for information. Marriage is not a competition, you know. It's a decision to stay with one person for the rest of your life. I lost trust. I lost trust in Greg. So one night as he sleeps, I lay my hands on his phone. I'm so excited you came. Uh, yeah, I was wondering, have we met before now? Mm, you look kind of familiar, but that doesn't matter. All that matters that I have a friend and a good one at that. Yeah, right. So, are you married? Yeah, a little complicated. Oh, marriage is always complicated. We just find a way to fix it. So, how about you? Are you married? Well, I have a son for this rich dude. 
he loves me so much and I love him too but he's married and he claims he's out of pity so he's looking for a way out. Oh, really? Yeah, he's always with me most of the time and anytime I ask him to go see his wife, it's always a struggle. Just last week we had a cut wedding, you can see, and so he's preparing to cut the divorce papers, send the woman his house back. I'm really happy, finally, and... Are you okay? Hello? Are you okay? I'm fine, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. Ooh, I am so happy for you. Well, what's the name of this your dude? Come on now, it's just a girl thing. Nothing personal. Gray? Why are you calling family and friends that I abandoned you? Why? Before we got married, didn't you know I work with the Secret Service and I can be called upon at any time? I cannot take this anymore. I cannot handle it anymore! Sweetheart, you should be grateful and happy. Yes, some family can even live the way we do. I mean, we've got all the money in the world to take care of all our needs and more. But besides, I'm here now. Greg, you are here now. But I need you to stay home sometimes. I can't take this. Please, take all the money. Take all the money and stay with me. This, your job is killing me. What is wrong with you? I bet you won't start having kids. The kids are not even going to recognize you. Because you had me at home. Sweetheart, you were taking this too far. Come on. All right, I promise you. During my long vacation, I'll make it up to you, okay? It's a promise. Now smile for me. Come on. <laughs> now let's go inside. Oh, oh sorry. Hello? Yes. Okay, I'll be on my way now. All right. Um, sweetie, I'm sorry, duty calls, and I have to go. You just got here. Yes. See, if you need anything, just anything, you can use my card, okay? You can't just say that. I have to go now. I'll see you. I just remembered something. I have an appointment. I you forgot. Do? Yes, yes, yes. But please, we'll meet up sometime. It's no. fine, but hope I didn't say anything offensive. Nothing, nothing, nothing. You sure, nothing. Right? No, I'm yeah. fine. It's fine. It's fine. I have to go now. That's cool. Thanks for having me. Take care of yourself. Please shut the door after you. Sure.
Um, when I came to pay your diary, they were introducing us to your father's many wives. Wait, how dare you bring my father in? Is it a lie? Are you not from a polygamous home? Five wives and uncountable children, of which he hardly even knows their names. Sad. Well, but at least you inherited a mansion and enough money to take care of yourself. Baby. It's okay. It's fine. Wait. Did you just call me baby? The last time you called me baby was two years ago. I thought you had forgotten such beautiful names that you used to call me. Don't start again. Her story has already put me in a bad mood. Don't start our fight again. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> I'm very sure if you agree, you will sell the mansion and probably keep me out. Oh, you forgot to add that I will collect all the money that I deposited into your account. I don't understand. If the man was not sure about her, why did he marry in the first place? The same question I've been asking myself, Ray. The same question. Maybe it was Juju that did not make me see the man that you've become. You married me because I was the best man out of all those your jingum stupid boyfriends that was chasing you. I got swag. <laughs> right. Yes. You've got swag. And you know it. But in your dress sense, darling. It's in the bedroom. That's what you see. Yeah, we are watching the film. <laughs> we are. The truth is bitter, isn't it? Swag. I'm a married man. Don't you know that? Huh? I've told you. It's either you wait for me to call you or you don't call at all. Look now. My wife has started suspecting all these numerous night calls. I don't like it. I've been sick. If you're sick, then go to the hospital now. I've done that. Hey, that was my business. Eh? Why are you telling me? Listen, Ada, my contract with you expired that same night at the hotel. I have no other business with you. And let me tell you something. You better go and face your studies in school and stop following men up and down. I am pregnant. You are what? Are you mad? Eh? But for who? Ada, you are very stupid. So I'm going to drop you off at the next bus stop. You are getting out of this car now. I don't know what to do. When has you seen your period? Two months ago. Hi! Jesus! What is this, eh? What kind of nonsense is this, eh? I got you want to ruin my family. You want to ruin my life. What is all this nonsense? Listen to me. You are going to remove this thing today. Today. I'm taking it to my doctor now. Now! Rubbish. Sam. 
Oh, 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 sorry. What are you thinking of? Um, um, nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, I was just thinking about what um, Greg did to her. You know, it's not nice at all. It's not nice. Um, anyways, madam, so how did you end up marrying the second man? I'm sure it took a while. Yeah? Not really. Beware of sounds in your life. Women bitter. The son of a very handsome man. He used to date in the living room. Traveled abroad in search of women fashions. He's a very, very skilled man. On the beach, in the marriage. Some of the boys is gay. Was everything I did was well? What can you take? No, you can say that. Come on. Listen to me. Nicole. Nicole, listen to me. Come. Listen to me. Listen to me. No. No. Listen to me. No. What do you take me for? No, I want to know what you take me for. You think this was one of the errant boys because of my condition? You think so? No, that ain't gonna work. Okay? I, Sam Abunichi, have made a lot of money. And there's nothing you can do about it. Absolutely nothing! This lies to me. Foolish, wretched gold digger that I picked up from the street. From the gutters! You would like to me that you are an international footballer. You gave your playing in Spain. You know what? Get ready. The police are on their way. No, no. Nicole, calm down. It hasn't got into this. <laughs> Did you just say us? Us! You know what? All your drug dealing rubbish, they know. All your cyber rubbish, they have it in their office. And they are on their way. If you listen very well, you'll hear them. So I need you to get the heck out of my house. Right now! Shit. Shit, what have I done? Shit. Damn. What am I going right? This time around, I was very careful. I listened to everything he has to say, but never believed a word. Just when he thought he got me. Ah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <sighs> really, thank you. If it weren't for you, I would be on the street of Lagos begging. But it was just a logical thing to do. What else would I have done? That's the problem. Not all men are logical. Hmm. Right. Thank you so much, Mr. Michael Oji. Thank you. Michael, oh, Mike. Noted. You are looking so tight. Why don't you relax a little bit? Okay, I'll try. Uh, right, that this calls for celebration, do you think? I'm really not cut off for celebration. Besides, who do I celebrate with? Am I so irrelevant and uh, too out of place? 
No, no, I don't mean it like that. You're not. I'm sorry. But it's okay. Take it. Uh, accept. So, I can accompany you for the celebration now, right? Oh. Mm. All right. Okay. okay. No problem. Now let's go. Mr. Mike asked me to offer you this. You'll be right here shortly. Thank you. Nothing happened, nothing. Really, I uh, just undressed you and gave you a cold bath. <sighs> Jeez. But, you know, I had to do that. You were stinking and I needed to bath you. And after that... Um, uh, what happened? Nothing. You just slept like a baby. I mean, you're just about waking up. I've been up a, a few few minutes ago. Oh, lady, trust me. Nothing happened. And by the way, you're not my type anyway. Excuse you? Yes. And your type is what? Oh, let me guess. Mm. The sexy little girl at the back? You got it. You got it. You hit the nail on the head, baby. <laughs> Make sure you sleep well, enjoy your sleep. I'll still get a few minutes of early for work. <sighs> yeah. So that's how my episode with Michael started. You also had an affair with Michael? It was just a joke. But one thing led to another. <laughs> Girlfriend, hey bad girl. You little slut. Hey! What? What was the joke? What was the joke? Nothing personal. Not taken. Honestly, that was exactly how I felt way back then. I couldn't just understand how I would just move from one man to the other so fast. So, Michael is husband number three? Was. Oh, he's late. No, my dear. He's very much alive. Wow. 
exactly why. Something very important. Yeah. Can I at least get a minute of your moment? Okay. How about you? I'm pregnant. Yeah. Okay. Are you okay? I just said something important. I'm pregnant. And you're acting like it's some kind of flimsy thing I've just said. Yeah, I said it's okay. I mean, it's fine. I'm happy. I'm happy. You sure have a very weird way of showing happiness. Yeah, well, you know, it's just that uh, I had something bothering me. But I'm, I'm sorry. I had to react that way. I'm really sorry. But it's okay. It's good. You have something bothering you. Do you mind sharing? No, you don't need to worry. I have been, uh, been worried over some things lately. But uh, let's not bother or stress your pregnant body. You're okay, you know. You know, you're, you're very delicate now. So let's, let's just worry about the pregnancy. You act like I'm um, carrying some kind of load. Yeah, but I didn't do that, did I? I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, that's nice, okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, dear, it's okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh huh. I was, uh, yeah, he's back. Yeah, we'll see you later. Yeah. All right. All right, darling. Babe. Why did you look so surprised? Oh, uh, no, I wasn't really expecting you in the office. Want to see my husband? Uh, yes, baby. It's just that you would have called to find out if I was on seat. Never mind. All right, all right. It's okay. I understand. Yeah. So, to what do I owe this visit, sweetheart? See my handsome husband. Oh. You also get a back rub. A what? Back rub, like the name suggested, you rub my back. Oh, it's no longer the belly, it's now the back. Yeah, the later is anywhere. Mm. The former will be in the bedroom, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. It's okay. So. <laughs> Who was that girl that I just made a man with? Uh, an applicant. She looks so familiar. Could have sworn I've seen her somewhere. Uh, where? I can't remember the top of my head, but it will come back. <sighs> okay. 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 So where where are we? Oh, okay, the back. All right. Okay. <laughs> Lady, where? Good evening, ma'am. Mr. Mike asked me to offer you this. You'll be right here shortly. Thank you. Don't tell me you didn't recognize her. I didn't. Who would not recognize a beautiful girl with that beautiful shape? Uh, I would. I did. Okay. Come on, sweetheart. You shouldn't mess how you come to the office, you know? 
can't blame me. You're wasting so much time. Darling, I'm doing my best. I mean, it's not like it's true in the park. See, documentation is difficult. I'm not disputing that fact, but I'm just saying it's taking too long, and I'm sick and tired of waiting. Oh, darling. Mm -hmm. You've got to be a little bit more patient. For how much longer? If you had played according to the plan, this whole thing would have been a thing of the past oh, right don't now. Don't even go there. Don't even go there. And why shouldn't I? I had said as a slot to join the Hadoopa, just so we could get this whole thing rolling. But and did you? Darling, I've got the ball rolling. The wheel is rolling already. Look, I've got her to trust me. I'm not wasting so much time. Now kiss me. Mm -hmm. Give or take, that lady is smart. I know you look at her from the outside as a naive woman, but she's one of the most intelligent women I've ever met. Babe, I would not take it. I would not allow you compliment another woman in my presence like that. I resent it, and you know that. Ah, I see. I like it when you get jealous. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, whatever. I was just trying to compliment her. To tell the truth. Whatever, just don't continue. Please, I don't like it. Yes, ma. <laughs> Anyways, I have to take matters to my hand. What? Cut the issues of you having a child with her. You know, as long as we can fix this whole thing and inherit to property, you know, and money. Hmm? What? <sighs> Amara. Amara, what have you done? She couldn't do. And that is what? It doesn't matter anymore. The deed is done. I warned you. I warned you never to harm that lady. Calm down, soldier boy. She has come to no harm. However, I can see a plan for a child. Amara! Yes, Amara! Boy. Let me! Come on. No, 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 no. This was all a plot. This was all a setup. Oh, 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 damn. Oh, my God, you lost your baby. word wants to get out. The loose one wants to get in. But there is no perfect marriage. Because marriage is not rosy. The two involved has to find a way to amend their differences. Suppression is not always the case. Men and women come with different shapes and sizes. And we as individuals, we have our own flavors. I met Craig. He was a gentleman. Kind hearted. But I took his simplicity for granted. Then I met Sam. 
the footballer. I saw hell. Then comes Michael. My dear, hold on to what you have because you never know. Did you hear that, Mr. Sun? Yes, I did. Mm. Have you forgotten I'm here? Oh, we can't forget you. Man, we can never ever forget you. We are actually indebted to you. Your story has graced our glory. And we are so thankful for that. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. Yeah, we thank you so much. And then you chose this path to help all the people to go to where you want to. It's so cool. Thank you so much. Ow. You're about to make me cry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't cry. No, but for real, for real. This session has been such a healing process. I mean, I listened to your story and it made me realize that that thing that was about to make my wife and I to be separated. It's not even as strong as what we actually feel for each other. I'm so glad I came here today. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you guys came. Thank and you. I, and I pray you get to meet someone as special as you say. Oh, of course she will. Now look at her. She's such a stunning lady. Hey! Just know who she is now. Mm -hmm. Shoot, don't talk. <laughs> I'm sorry for everything. Me too. I'm so sorry. I love you only, no lily, cause I will. 